A box contains 60 blue balls, 70 red balls, and 40 yellow balls. Three balls are randomly drawn one after the other. What is the probability that the first and last balls are of the same color? So we need to find this probability that the ball that we drew in the first position and the ball that we drew in the third position are both the same color. So if the first ball is blue, the third ball needs to be blue, and it doesn't matter what the second ball is. So writing this probability statement, we can write it as being equal to the probability. But first, uh, I think before we do this, let's some, uh, define some events. So let's let the event C, R, be the event that the Rth ball is of color C. So C is going to be the capital letter that begins each of these words. So B for blue, R for red, and Y for yellow. So we're looking for the probability that the first ball is blue, B1, and the last ball is blue, plus the probability that the first ball is red and the last ball is red, and finally, plus the probability that the first ball is yellow and the last ball is yellow. Okay, so let's expand on each of these three probabilities and write them in more detail because this doesn't really talk about the second ball. So for this blue part of this probability statement, we can get that in two ways. We can get it by the first ball being blue and the second ball being blue as well as the third ball being blue or by the first ball being blue, the second ball not being blue, so the complement of the second ball being blue, and the third ball being blue. So obviously we know that the first and the third ball must be blue in this little probability here, it's fixed, which is why they're the same in both. So the thing that differs is the second ball is blue here, but here the second ball is not blue, it's red or it's yellow. Okay, so we can do the same for the red balls and the yellow balls. So we have the probability that the first ball is red, intersection with the second ball being red, intersection with the third ball being red, plus the probability the first ball is red, and now the, intersected with the probability that the second ball is not red, or the complement of red, intersection with the third ball being red. And of course, the same for the yellow balls. Okay, so now, reverting back to this probability, we know that the probability that the first ball must be red, we have 170 balls to choose from, because 60 plus 40 is 100, plus 70 is 170. The probability that the first ball is red is 60, because there are 60, I mean blue is 60, because there are 60 blue balls. And the second ball being blue as well, well, there's going to now be 169 balls in the box because we've already drawn one and only 59 blue balls left. So now for the third ball, if it has to be blue as well, then it's going to be 58 blue balls left out of 168 balls left. Now this probability, of course, the first ball is still 60 out of 170, but now the second ball cannot be blue. So how many blue, how many balls are there in the box that aren't blue? It's 70 plus 40 which is equal to 110, and that's out of the 169 balls that are still left. And then we multiply that with the probability that the third ball is blue. So there are 168 balls left, and in those 168, we need to find out how many are still blue. So on the first ball, we drew a blue ball. Second ball, we didn't draw a blue ball. So now the third ball, we've only taken one blue ball out the box, which means there must be 59 left. And we apply the same logic to get the probability of the red balls and the yellow balls. So I'll just draw these statements out and you can make sense of them with the same logic that I used for blue.
Okay, so we've written out these probabilities, now we need to calculate them. So this probability over here is equal to 354 over 2873, if you type that into your calculator. This probability here, if you type it into your calculator, is equal to 483 over 2873. And this last probability here is equal to 12 out of 221. And now, of course, our initial probability statement is where you sum up all of these probabilities. So the sum of them is 993 divided by 2873, which as a decimal is equal to 3.456, rounded to four decimal places. And that is the final answer to this probability question. I hope you found it useful and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.